Japan, a technologically advanced and innovative country, has not led the development of a new fighter craft domestically for around 40 years or so. For this reason, the country is very interested in bringing technical help from allied countries, such as the United States and the United Kingdom. However, rather than purchasing an additional foreign stealth design to supplement its growing fleet of F-35s, Japan has designed a sixth generation Mitsubishi FX air superiority stealth fighter. The aircraft, dubbed the FX or F-3, has been deemed necessary to keep up with and hopefully surpass the air capabilities of many of its neighbors' cutting-edge aerial assets, especially China and Russia. However, how does the Mitsubishi FX stand to become the first indigenous fifth or sixth generation fighter design for the nation of Japan? Join us as we uncover the 5 trillion yen Japanese stealth jet Mitsubishi FX. The Japan Air Self-Defense Force, or JASDF for short, is seeking advancements with the Mitsubishi FX. It has operated the Mitsubishi F-2 lightweight multi-role fighter since 2000. The local industry produced 98 examples from the period spanning 1995 to 2011, with the design being a modified form of the excellent General Dynamics, now Lockheed, F-16 Fighting Falcon. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries was tasked with the project and continues to support the building and development of the asset. 20 years later, Japan and its JASDF service are seeking an advanced, all-modern replacement to contend with growing threats from North Korea, China, and Russia. This has led to the FX Next Generation Fighter Initiative. Initially, the JASDF sought to procure the advanced Lockheed F-22 Raptor 5th Generation Air Superiority Fighter until its purchase was banned from export in 1997 by the American government, citing sensitive technologies. This led the nation to pursue another foreign solution, or settle on local development, and it chose the latter, though perhaps with some intentional collaboration still to come. The FX program owes its existence to the I-3 fighter project and X-2 Shinshin technology demonstrator program. The X-2 becoming a flyable one-off prototype, exhibiting some of the qualities of the soon-to-be FX, including stealth. It flew from 2016 to 2018 in the data collecting role. Let's take a closer look at the ATDX program, shall we? The ATDX program, like other fifth generation initiatives worldwide, is costly for the island nation and always at the mercy of local politics. It has since evolved into an unveiled technology demonstrator and had its first scheduled flight on April 22, 2016. The ATDX initiative was born from the rebuffed attempt by the Japanese to procure the advanced F-22 Raptor from the U.S. government. However, the country has committed to purchasing 42 planned F-35A Lightning II models and may add more to the order in time. This has not derailed the ATDX program. The preliminary Shinshin concept envisions a faceted airframe in the mold that was started by the American Lockheed F-22 Raptor air dominance fighter. The design positions a powerful, active electronically scanned array, or ASA for short, scanning radar system under a nose cone assembly ahead of the cockpit in the usual way. The fuselage is well blended into the wings, while sharp angles are specifically used throughout. Assuming a twin-engine design, the ATDX will sport twin rectangular intakes on either side of the cockpit. Wings will include main appendages and tailplanes as usual, with outward canted vertical tail fins at the rear. The engines will exhaust through specially designed low-profile, low-signature exhaust ports, and thrust vectoring is envisioned under and between each rudder. Unlike fourth-generation fighters relying on fly-by-wire control, the ATDX is slated for the newer, speedier fly-by-optics control system. Also intended for the ATDX demonstrator is an onboard self-repair facility that will detect and, to the best of its ability, diagnose and repair failed or failing control systems. The undercarriage will be wholly retractable, keeping with fifth-generation fighters' low-signature, low-profile nature. The Shinshin will be developed with an internal weapons bay, radar-absorbing coatings for its skin, 
and advanced technologies. In addition to the airframe, engines remain the other half of the fifth generation fighter challenge, and this challenge has been handed to Ishikawa Jama Harima Heavy Industries, or IHI for short, for possible development and productions of a new power plant. IHI XF51 turbofans with up to 20,000 pounds thrust. It is assumed that like the groundbreaking F-22, the ATDX will feature super cruise support, which allows for reaching supersonic flight without the use of a thirsty and missile-guiding afterburner. A mock-up of the ATDX was unveiled in 2005, while a compact remote-controlled demonstrator mimicking the expected Shinshin design was tested in 2006. The project was authorized with proper funding in 2007. Should the ATDX program yield an indigenous, Japanese fifth-generation development, the upcoming production series aircraft would be designated Mitsubishi F-3, following the Mitsubishi F-2, F-16, and the original Cold War-era Mitsubishi F-1. Furthermore, the ATDX features a running length of 46.5 feet, a wingspan of 30 feet, and an overall height of 14.8 feet. Maximum takeoff weight is estimated at 28,000 pounds. Projected straight line speeds could reach Mach 2. While the program began in 2007, Japan has since changed its World War II policy and will allow exporting its defense products, which will undoubtedly alter the Japanese defense landscape shortly. So what is this sixth generation fighter going to look like? As it stands, the initial FX prototype will tentatively complete its construction phase in 2024, with a first flight to follow sometime in 2028. Full-rate serial production will ramp up in 2031, and the JASDF is expected to induct the fighter into service in 2035. The FX will have electronically actuated control surfaces, space inside the airframe will be tight, so conventional hydraulic systems will be used sparingly to maintain a low radar profile. It will also come with a fiber optic flight control system, the so-called fly-by-light system, and serpentine air intakes to help further reduce its radar cross-section and heat signature in flight. The FX will also come with heat shields and an integrated bonded structure that will likely be made of composite materials. This will help reduce the aircraft's overall weight giving the FX a much extended operational range and giving the Japanese Air Force the much needed ability to be flexible with the air bases the FX will operate from. Now we're going to journey into the engine and operations of this fighter. With regards to propulsion, one of the main companies involved in the project, IHI Corporation, has been testing a new jet engine, the XF-91 Low Bypass Turbofan Engine, since 2018. Japan's aero engine specialist IHI Corporation sees opportunities to expand in the defense sector despite falling sales to the Japanese Ministry of Defense, MOD. This engine includes interesting exotic materials to help keep its weight down while increasing its heat tolerance to 3,272 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,008 degrees Celsius. The engine of choice is the IHI XF-91 afterburning turbofan, developing an estimated 22,000 pounds of dry thrust and up to 30,000 pounds of thrust with reheat. The turbofan is notably narrow in its design to maximize the airframe's internal volume, allowing it to house more weaponry, fuel, and other pertinent systems. The exhaust ports will be capped by thrust vectoring flaps, giving the FX exceptional ability while optimizing its stealth qualities. Two such engines will be housed in the design, providing the fighter with excellent performance at the expense of greater maintenance and repair commitments and increased fuel burn. The current FX form relies on a pair of embedded afterburning turbofan engines for the required performance over range and general survivability. This will promote a fairly large airframe, which is also expected to house the needed fuel stores for extended overwater operations and a radar fit alongside internally held weapons. Electric actuators will succeed in the ages old hydraulic approach and stealth qualities will figure heavily into the design to promote a reduced radar cross section and radar deflection. Special materials and onboard systems accomplish this. Composites will make up some of the fighter's construction, reducing weight 
and enhancing performance and range. Although aero engines represent a risk for future growth, the MOD's commitment to locally source a power plant for its next generation FX fighter aircraft is a major opportunity. IHI said that in fiscal year 2019, declining sales of the MOD of engines and related services contributed to its aero engine, space and defense business division registering a percent year-on-year -year decline in revenue to 480.8 billion yen. That's about 4.6 billion in US dollars, or 35% of total sales. The division's profits fell by 13% to 40.3 billion yen, mainly due to the impact of COVID-19 on its commercial aerospace business. Orders in the year for both commercial and defense-related engines declined to 420.1 billion yen. IHI said that the impact of COVID-19 will continue to affect its business for the foreseeable future, and that further risks are related to downward pressure on expenditure for domestically made defense equipment due to increased transnational procurement between governments. However, IHI's plans for growth have also been affected by COVID-19-related delays in developing a new production and maintenance center in the Saitama Prefecture near Tokyo. The 25 billion yen facility was scheduled to be completed earlier, but has reportedly been delayed. This engine can pump out around 16.5 tons of thrust with afterburners. This is impressive, but still slightly lower than the F-119 engines currently installed and the US F-22 Raptors. The XF-9 is slimmer and can generate more power at around 241 horsepower, 180 kilowatt apiece. Japanese engineers have also been toying with thrust vectoring nozzles for the XF-91 engine, which, if successful, could provide the FX with impressive mid-flight maneuverability. This kind of feature is currently an integral part of the F-22 and Russian Su-30 fighters. Allegedly, the Chinese J-10 and J-20 fighters also have this capability. Also, other team members for the project, including Toshiba and Fujitsu, will be taking the lead in developing FX's Gallium Nitride Active Electronically Scanning Array, ASA for short, and radar system. This should be able to double as a form of microwave defense system for the fighter mid-flight against incoming missiles. We are winding down on the FX, but we want to touch on the control capabilities of this stealth fighter. The FX will likely be a twin-engine fighter with advanced technologies, including remote drone control capabilities, a VR-style helmet-mounted display, and a radar that can double as a microwave weapon to fry enemy missiles. The fighter will likely incorporate sophisticated mission systems and electronic warfare capabilities. Mitsubishi Electric will likely take the lead in this area. This system will include self-defense jamming functions, for example, the fighter may also come equipped with an integrated fire control for fighters, IFCF system, that could allow Japanese and possibly US fighters to pool their sensor and missile targeting capabilities, enhancing the accuracy of missiles beyond visual range. Subaru is developing the FX's landing systems. While Subaru is better known for making automobiles, the company has an in-house aerospace division that builds the wings and landing gear for commercial aircraft, like the Boeing 777. Apparently, the FX will also be able to control up to three drone-like loyal wingman craft, or combat support unmanned aircraft. These will likely be sensor carrying or scout craft, with others being used as extra weapons platforms. However, either type of drone would dramatically increase the FX's offensive capability, while greatly reducing the manned jet's exposure to enemy attacks. In addition, Lockheed Martin is likely to provide technical support to Mitsubishi in developing the FX's airframe and help with system integration. The design of the airframe and the materials used will be critical for the craft to be truly stealthy. For obvious reasons, it is radar-absorbent to a greater or lesser degree to help reduce its radar cross-section as much as possible. Being so advanced, systems integration will also be a major headache. The new plane will likely be used as a multi-role fighter, able to attack targets on land and at sea and, of course, in the air. It will have stealth in addition to networking functions to continue operations even if it is disturbed by electromagnetic waves. It will probably also have the capability for at least six internally stowed weapons, including, but not limited to, air-to-air -to missiles, air-to-ground missiles, 
and anti-ship missiles as per standard for multi-role aircraft. The armaments of the aircraft during combat will vary depending on the requirements. The plane is co-developed by some of the biggest names in Japanese technology, including Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, with some help from American defense companies like Lockheed Martin. Once developed, the aircraft will likely jointly operate with Japan's own self-defense forces and, to a certain extent, American armed forces. The news of Japan's intention to build their next fighter domestically is very exciting, but will require them to upskill their domestic companies significantly. The program, if successful, will not only provide Japan with one of the most cutting-edge fighters in the world, but should also help build up their domestic industrial capabilities significantly. The success will mark the first time domestic groups have developed defense jets since Mitsubishi Heavy made the F-1 fighter in the 1970s. However, on the surface, Tokyo's proposed timeline is a little unrealistic given the delays that plagued other advanced fighters over the last decade, like the US's 5th Gen F-35 stealth jet. But Japan may already be ahead of the game in some respects in terms of its extensive domestic research of component technologies including tests of radars, engines, and networking systems. What are your thoughts of Japan building stealth fighters? They have a marred past with their participation in World War II, but in the recent decades since, they have proven themselves a formidable ally to the US and UK. Drop your comments below. Thank you for joining us on this exciting unveiling of the Mitsubishi FX. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates on this groundbreaking technology.